You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mist Kinsman and Mike Bennion Rowe. So, happy, sleepy, dark. I can't remember the names of the other ones, but if you had a one. Oh, hello. Uh, welcome to Chewing the Cud. I should think I haven't. Well, you have to choose one, not all seven. Well, it was a panto, they were in town. That's why not? <laughs> seven oh. days a week, seven dwarfs. All I'm saying is she had the right idea. You ride one till they need a break, you've done some hip damage, move on, you've got six days to recover. Well, they're well, not going to have hip damage, are they? You don't have to bend over. This pounding on top of them is going to have hip damage. Mm -mm. Oh, that was not an image I needed. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, what have you got for us today, Mike? I've got a story about a dangerous food item and then we get a little sticky in Crafty Queens. Mm. And we even have a game that you can play along with too. But on your screen now, you can see our contact details. It's at the Cud TV on your social media. And if you want to catch up with any of our previous episodes, you can always binge them on YouTube. Just look for Chewing the Cud. And you can see the names of people who've reached out on social media going along the bottom of the screen. But now we have Mist and the Showbiz. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Right, OK, I've got some news items for you in the okay. showbiz world. To be honest, we might have to fire the researcher because this really isn't news. Lady Gaga. Shock horror. She's a bisexual. OK. I, th I think we all knew that. And um, she sings songs but might have a second meaning. OK. The bit of the news is, is that she has come out and she's been doing lots of different shows and been quite explicit in giving what the original meaning of poker face was. Mm -hmm. Can you can you have hazard a guess at what poker Low face jobs. is? Actually not. No, you'd yeah. be wrong. I think there's a there's a hint of it in there. But it's actually more about um her thinking about sex with a lady mm -hmm. whilst she's engaging in actual sex with a man. Okay. So has she actually come out as bisexual? Oh, yeah, yeah, back in, like, 2013. OK. Formally. Um, so it she's... would be um, during the release party for the album Art Pop. She was very explicit in saying then that um, people might think that she was saying that just to, you know, garner the gay vote, uh, oh. the pink pound, or however you want to describe it, or just be a little bit edgy. Um, actually, what was the quote? You know what? It's not a lie that I'm bisexual and I like women. And anyone who wants to twist it into saying it's a, she's a bisexual for marketing, well, that's a f***ing lie. This is who I am and who I've always been. So, yeah, it, she's been quite explicit about it before, but now she seems to be uh, giving the game away about some yeah. of the second meanings in some of her songs. Um, if you have a chance to have a look at, I think it's her Las Vegas shows... Mm -hmm. Um, she's got some very express and blunt words for people that might bring children to her shows. Well, they're not child-friendly shows. No, they're not, and that's her point. Yeah, they're, they're children. <laughs> <laughs> you knew what you were buying. Why you come to my show? That's basically the point. Now, moving on okay. to actor Aaron Taylor-Johnson. OK. Remember him from uh, Kick-Ass? OK, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's... he's Developed beautifully. Um, so, <coughs> sorry. What sneezed. did you just say? I sneezed and coughed at the same time. It just happened to sound like a dirty old man. <laughs> he's 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 a very matured and well-rounded. He's not that far off my age because I'm young. Anyway, he's just wrapped up filming on the horror film Twenty Eight Years Later. Do you remember the film Twenty Eight Days Later? Yeah. Yeah, so that whole zombie thing, but the when zombies did, were quick. When did that come out? Um, oh, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. And you're still young, apparently. I'm aware of it. doesn't mean I was around at the time. Yeah, you were. Yeah, I was. Uh, anyway. You were old enough to go and watch it. Yeah, I was. I wasn't. Just saying. I still don't believe you. We're now playing a game of what's older, dirt or mist. <laughs> I give you a clue. It doesn't begin with a D. I usually start with a D. Uh, <laughs> Why have I got on my own room in my head for some reason? Right, okay. <laughs> anyway, the film 28 Days Later. Later, yeah. Later, yeah. 
all about and the big uh, zombies taking over the world. It was the rage virus, and the big thing was, oh, the zombies are quick because up to that point, traditionally, oh, they're, they're dead, so they exactly. would be a bit slow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and it, it's, it's arguable to say that's what led on to things like Walking Dead being popular a few years later. So, like, it really did revive the whole zombie era thing. So, quite an impactful film. Danny Boyle's coming out with a sequel called 28 Years Later, and Aaron Taylor Johnson's in it. Now, I don't think that's out till next year, maybe. Okay. So, it's a while to wait. The reason it's in the news, because it's 28 years, presumably we can guess all... Somebody's had to live in the apocalyptic post-zombie world for over 28 years now. He's become a bit beardy-weirdy. Uh-huh. And he doesn't have to be anymore because he's finished shooting. So he's changed to this. Okay. The before and after image is just... Mm. I mean, he looks quite sexy in both of them, in my opinion. But it is quite a before and after, isn't it? Has anyone got a duster? You've just come every <laughs> I really would. Thing is, he probably wouldn't. I know, I know he probably wouldn't, but oh, you know I, I really tell? would. Because the eyesight as well. Oh, that is so mean. Do you see what I have to put up with? I just... I. I could have a complex. Uh, well, I'm not going to go down that road. No, no one could ever ex- excuse you from having a complex, anything. <laughs> I could be quite psychologically scarred at your bullying. Uh, I, I'm going to really contact HR. The, 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 the network will hear about this. Anyway, <laughs> moving okay. on. What with that? Yeah. Dean, so, that's HR. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now I truly am. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> For the first time in forever. I don't know why I'm singing Frozen. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, get on with your news stories. I've only got one left for okay. you. Okay. Um, because basically that news story is Aaron Taylor Johnson is a thirst trap. <sighs> anyway, uh, moving on. The next story. Do you know that's not actually where genitals are held, right? That's not, that's not to serve your genitals. Just slap in the back of your head. Yeah, just to calm yourself down. It's like the immediate version of a violent cold shower. Okay. Some violent cold shower? Don't answer that. Or you get to the privacy around <laughs> Anyway, next story. <laughs> so, uh, there's a new TV show coming up that we might quite like. Okay. The full trailer for it has come out, uh, so it won't be uh, till later on in the year, I believe, where it comes out. Uh, but it's for a new queer comedy. Okay. It's called The English Teacher. And it's starring Brian Jordan Alvarez as a gay man navigating the world in a modern Texan high school. He's quite a handsome young man. Yeah, he's all right. No Aaron Taylor Johnson, but he, he's all right. Very bookish. Yeah, well, I think that's kind of the point, because he is supposed to be like an English teacher in a uh, Republican state. Like, really conservative okay. um, area of America. I've been to Texas. It is quite, well, that, several years ago, but yes. Many, many, many years. Many 45 years. years. Anyway. Back when it was still part of an independent nation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, he's pesky all... slaves getting away, yeah. It, oh, God. Oh, it... Uh, Living in, um, staying staying in a country for a while in a residential sense, where there generally is still, like, this weird segregation thing going on. Like, it was a very weird experience, very weird experience, and that was 20 years ago. But anyway, we, we, are, diver- we are diverting from the news. The news is, this show's coming out, it's very much about him trying to deal with all the old conservative values of the teaching class. Mm-hmm. And then his students, who are simultaneously really, really woke and not woke enough at the same time. It's the trailer's come out for it, and it is um, really quite funny. And I do recommend uh, watching it. I'm just trying to check when it's actually out. Did I do that part of my research? No, I didn't. So it'll be around soon and on Hulu and Hulu. FX. Yes. How do I get hold of Hulu? Uh, it's one of the extra fun channels. 
No idea. Um, okay. Well, they're not on like, like, like national TV like us. <laughs> We're not on national TV. <laughs> But yes, it's a funny series that will deal with homophobia, school shootings, a right laugh. Great. Fun. And a comedy, yeah? Yeah. Wonderful. That's all from the showbiz. Great. Thanks for that, Mr. Always nice to know that shootings are fun. You're welcome. But stick around, as next it's Mike in the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mist and Mike. And now we go into the deeper parts of the internet as it's Mike with the buzz. Knock, knock. Who's the... Maya. Maya who? Maya, ha, ha. Na, 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 na. <laughs> so I, 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 I tell enough dad jokes to not fall into them like that easily. Yeah, I know, it's fun. Um, cool. So, uh, you like a crisp, don't you? I do like a crisp. What's your favourite crisp? the reason for most of this, to be honest. Uh -huh. I, look, I, I do really quite enjoy a bag of crisps. Awful. What's your favourite flavour? Uh, oh, depend. I have different flavours go with different things. What, cheese and only left hand, salt and the the right hand? What? Uh, no, like, if, if I'm having, like, cheese and stuff, then I usually like a salt and vinegar. Okay. If I'm having a Plowman's, which has got cheese in it, but lots of other things more ready salted. And if I'm having tuna, um, salt and vinegar, for seafood and goes salt and vinegar. Cheese and onion doesn't really go with very much. So what you're saying there is you'll eat lots of salty crisps. Mm. How do you feel about a spicy crisp? Oh, mm, mm. those go with cream cheese. You enjoy a spicy crisp? I, I, with cream cheese, yes. How, would you, how about an adult-only crisp? What, what do you mean, an adult-only crisp? So, there is a crisp that is so hot that it's only available for adults. Uh, when you say hot, do you mean spicy or do you mean adult-only because it's shaped like a willy? No, spicy, spicy. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, that you have to be 18 to buy them. Really? So, much so a, a group of children got their hands on them and 14 of them ended up in hospital. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> so there's health warnings all over them. It says, it says things like, do not have if you've got high blood pressure, right? If you have any stomach upsets, don't eat them. If you're sensitive to all sorts of things, don't eat, like health warnings galore on these. Yeah, and these should... kids went, hum, nom, 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 nom. Oh, no, what did I do? I've chosen the wrong thing. I ended up in hospital. See, usually when something's 18, it will attract kids, like sneaking into the cinema to watch a film you shouldn't see or whatever. Because okay. you do kind of think, ah, really? Does it really count? That's quite a harsh, no, really pay attention to this. Listen, when we say it's for adults, it means it's for adults. No yeah. It's allowed, yeah. Wow. I think that's hilarious. Well, not for the kids. Well, Some of them, right, but, you know. None of them died. So it's funny. Um... So I was thinking about foods and how, you know, sometimes you look at a food and go, oh, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. And then you get a different surprise in your face. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh yes. Am I going to have to shove it in my face now? You always make me eat weird things. Not weird things. Do you know what this box is? It looks like a box of Jaffa Cakes. It is a box of Jaffa Cakes. Ooh, I'm observant, me. I'm you are. I'm a little bit worried that I knew that too well. <laughs> no one was surprised. Have a Jaffa Cake. Nice little orangey flavoured uh, thing. Uh, uh. Why is it red? What's it taste like? It tastes like raspberries. That's because it's a raspberry Jaffa Cake. Oh! Yeah! That's not bad, you know. They're not bad, are they? I quite like that. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Mm. Would you like to try a different Jaffa cake? I don't like that face. <laughs> Lovely raspberry. Try that one. <laughs> I really... Go on. Nom, nom, nom. All in. No, no biting. Full, full eclipsing. I'm not full of clips. Eclipse it, go I'm on. I'm not full of clips. Delicious thing. little num 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 num. You do know you eat them upside down, right? Chocolate's supposed to be on the downside. It's true. 
They, they say that they're dipped in chocolate, so it's that's the bottom. Is that like rosemary or something? That's what laxative tastes like. Um, so <laughs> you would as well. You absolutely would. I literally shit you not. Um, moving on. <laughs> they brought out laxative Jaffa cakes as jokes. They've not really. It's cola bottle. <laughs> Abs actually genuinely scared me then because that's I absolutely believed you would. Yeah, I think they're both delicious. I'm not sharing them. Do you know, really weird, though. I did... Thought rosemary. Rosemary, yeah. You know what that says? What? No palate. Um, moving on. And you've also got chocolate around your face. Oh, oh, I don't think I'll finish that off. Why have I been giving it? Because I'm not going to discuss the table, am I? Things that have been around your mouth near me. I've heard stories about where that was a long, long time ago. Right, um, next story is about an Airbnb. Have you stayed in an Airbnb before? I have uh, frequented... Um... No, I haven't. I've gone no. to some... Yeah, I've, I've... <laughs> that was a very long no. <laughs> no. Let me think. Actually, I haven't, no, but I have been to places where friends are staying where it's an Airbnb. Yes. OK, um, this is a story about a lady who was... A little bit disappointed when she got her Airbnb. Airbnb. Oh, I said like that, but I did. Um, she went off to a nice sunny climate and she saw a beach view. Mm -hmm. right? It was beautiful, right? But when she got there, she was devastated by the beach view. Why? What's wrong with the beach? Look at that beautiful beach view. Yeah, it's a beautiful beach view. Beautiful. and Because basically, what she found out is that that is actually a wall that's been painted. <laughs> So when she goes out, there's literally, there's a wall there, uh -huh. and then someone's painted that mural wall. And it's technically true, because it is a beach view. It is it's a beach view. It's just not a view of the beach where you are at. <laughs> <laughs> That's genius. It is genius. <laughs> yeah, because she was there going, oh, this being big, going, this is nowhere near the sea. How's this got a beach view? Well, to be fair, I mean, is, is it still near the beach? No. Nowhere near. <laughs> is it, like, landlocked? Not landlocked, but it's, you know, it's you can't get a decent view of the beach anywhere. Well, no, I was thinking that, like, you'd have a view of the mural uh -huh. and hear the beach in the distance and the seagulls. Possibly, and the, maybe. Get the but... smells of the... So you can, like, fake it quite well. OK. No, it's a sea view of a painting. That's a very nice painting. It's a very lovely painting. I wouldn't buy a hotel. I wouldn't buy a, a bed in front of the Mona Lisa to sit in front of that for an entire week. But you know, it's it's still a nice view. Well, it, it's the thing is that the advert said it's a beach view. Not it's so not lying. No, no, not lying. But she was devastated. And if you've been disappointed by something on the internet, looking at Mr. OnlyFans, why not share that with us? We are at the Could TV on social media, and that brings us nicely to our story of the week. I can't do only. Hands. I'd have to pay out refunds. Oh, yeah, we know. Um, <laughs> you know when you do self-deprecating humour, you expect your friends not to agree with you? Now, you're a fan of a large thing, aren't you? I do like a large thing. Good. Um, this is something seven foot long. Ooh. Mm. And can be so big you can see it on Google Earth. Ooh. Yes. Um, and it's two gentlemen that have it. Ooh. And it's a basically a seven foot T Rex. Um, so, yeah, they've bought a seven foot turtle dinosaur, <laughs> right? And stuck it in their garden, <laughs> right? Um, and it's actually, you can see it on Google Maps, it's that big. Actually, seven foot isn't that tall. Well, it is. It's a good foot above, above what we consider a tall person. Yeah, 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 but it's not like stupid big like the size of a dinosaur back back in it's the day it's not a life size dinosaur yeah but then it's still seven foot tall and that gentleman has very curly hair he does have very curly hair yeah and it's it like that kid out of what high school musical um <laughs> i don't know why i just did that musical is this 
<laughs> you need to Kate Almirello song. You can tell I've never seen it. <laughs> Someone dance. <laughs> right. Um, you wrote dinosaurs. Seven foot dinosaur. I think that's more impressive about Google Maps being able to see something that's only seven feet big. Okay. I think it's an impressive dinosaur. I think it's I like impressive it. that they've got that in their garden. Not for the Google Maps thing, but just for the, the fact just that they have it. Irritating the neighbours. <laughs> it wasn't irritating the neighbours. But yeah, I thought that was quite impressive, just just to have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think we can like, that's cool. When asked why you've got it, they went, why not? Which I think is brilliant. Yeah. That's all from the buzz this week. Well, thank you very much for that, Mike. Well, we don't usually talk about ageing dinosaurs on this show, but... What was that? That, that was the inner, your inner monologue going, We talk about you all the time, Mist! Sure, I could hear somebody. Um, well, yeah, stick around because coming up next, we have our game to play in our game of the week. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we've got a game to play in our game of the week, and this one's for you, Mike. Off you pop. Game of the week. So this week we've got Mike with Uza Kazoo and he's going to show me right up because I don't know how to play the damn thing. Put it in your mouth and blow. Just saying. <laughs> I, I could not not know this. Well, it, uh, I had to look it up because it was the song of Pride and Manchester. It was Pot to Go. I think Chaperone? It was indeed Chaperone. Yeah, to, yeah has the whole dance routine thing going on. I couldn't do it. I only just found out about it. <laughs> Go on. I, uh, uh, our dear friends in the gallery, and I went to go and see this musical. I want to follow Phantom of the Opera. No, no, no. We came back singing. You see, we like proper gays. We bought the CD and sang the whole soundtrack on the way home. <laughs> um, uh, cabaret. When was this? Oh, it, sorry, you weren't invited. No, no, no. The fact that you bought a CD and listened to it on the way home. When was this? <laughs> so, that was gallery. How long ago was that? Four years. <laughs> During COVID. Don't think so. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. it's if anybody gets to see the current production of Cabaret, it is actually stunning. Like the whole venue, the, the, it, it's absolutely amazing. Mm. Is it some dodgy 90s nope. dance thing like Venga Boys? Nope. It, it feels like it's in that area. Nope, it's not. It's quite modern. It, it, Eurovision it, artists. Eurovision? Artists. Ooh. Not a Eurovision song necessarily. Ooh. Give, give, give me another go. If anybody could guess at home, you're doing better than me. Um, gallery guess? Monster. No, I, Mains... I don't think we're doing very well on that one. Sorry, it, it does ring slight bells, but it's I was thinking... Main maybe. skin, I want to be your slave, which is what the gallery think it, that's called Monster. Oh! Yeah, oh, monster. the guy with the really tight pants who cut I his I want to be a slave, I want to be a master. That one. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. I might have been a bit distracted seeing the, the, the lead singer performing it. Mm -hmm. 
That's like some really bad mashup of some really awful ballads like You'll Never Walk Alone. No, I have not a, I've not a, I've not a Scooby. Not a clue. Think Star Trek. Star Trek? <laughs> Who'd be a nerd who really likes Star Trek? Loser! <laughs> Says the man who spends hours talking about prepping for and playing a make-believe game. Oh, I've rolled a dice. Oh, I've got a natural 20. Oh, that's good. It what is. does that mean? It's a really that means good thing. That means you can defeat the ogre. What ogre? <laughs> the one I've just made up. You know what I've just made up? A magic wand that disappears ogres when you roll any number whatsoever. Oh, it's a critical fail, but that's good because there's a reverse spell on me wand. So suddenly it's a natural 20. <laughs> but yeah, Star Trek's geeky. <laughs> oh, what I've got here is I've got a magic file of facts. No, you haven't. Oh, we all live in a perfect future where everybody's kind to each other. We they're all constantly at, they're constantly at war and trying to kill exactly. each other. <laughs> at least it deals with themes rather than just go, oh, I'm a f monster. <laughs> I'm a mage. Oh, no. I'm a level seven warlock. Oh, blow your kazoo. Blow your kazoo. Oh, no, you can't, can you? <laughs> right. <laughs> Next one, then. <laughs> Oh, he's already getting into it. Did you see that? Oh, he's, he's away. If I do any more, I have to pay rights for the music here. <laughs> You're not that close. Mainly because I don't understand it at all. Many of horror. Biffy Clyro. Biffy Clyro? Many of horror. Or do you know the Miley version? I I, 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 I don't know either. Don't know many of horror? No. I have been listening to Miley Cyrus's Little Sisters, like, country-type music. That's really good. Got into that thanks to Orville Peck. Orville Peck. Mm. The green duck. No, not Orville the duck. He pecked. I believe he pecked a pick of pe 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 peppers. <laughs> no, that's not ringing any bells. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, that does ring a bell oh. now. Um, oh, I, I can't remember that. Is it fireworks? Oh no. Um, no, not like Katy Perry's fireworks. There's a lyric in it about fireworks, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh god, I can't remember. But I think I can think of the video. Is 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 that Orville Pack? Marina and the Diamonds Fruit. Marina and the Diamonds Fruit. Yeah. Living of Dolce Vita, life couldn't get much sweeter. Don't man, 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 man. that one. Yeah, I didn't even understand any better with you singing it. You know, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, I think he's just having a nervous breakdown. Me too, I guess. Wait, what if these week 
songs. It'll do the greatest hits of uh, Black Lace, and then I might be able to understand them. Or, or maybe some status quo. <laughs> it was I Can't Decide If You Should Live or Die by the Scissor Sisters. Oh, I should have known that one. You should have. <laughs> I hope you're doing better at home than I am. Not a Scooby. Love Shack by the B-52s. That was no way Love Shack by the B-52s. <laughs> Love Shack, baby. Oh, Gallery, don't you join in singing along. That was rubbish. They got it. Only after you told them. So I haven't played computer games since the Commodore 64. <laughs> but you knew it was a computer game theme, so you know the song. So what is it? Um, is it Mario? Yes, it's Mario's theme. That's all I'm going to go for. <laughs> That one I almost recognise, but I can't put a name to it. I think that's enough of that, don't you, Mike? Now, stick around, because coming up, we have Crafty Queens. In your own time, mister. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we try to understand why Mike has started to drink a lot more water in Crafty Queens. In the, the warm weather, Mist, mm -hmm. it's important to stay hydrated. It is. Now, uh, we both worked in offices. Mm -hmm. And then when you have offices, you have water bottles. That is true. And then there's always someone that uses the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, when you can see somebody's wrapped their lips around your bottle. Yeah, you just want to slap them. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've got ways of, of fixing that so that they don't do it ever again. Okay? Uh, so what we've got here is we've got a water bottle. Yes. Okay? And into it we're going to put a little bit of cyanide. Ah! And then the bastards <laughs> That'll will do die. it. That will absolutely... The water <laughs> bottle thieving. <laughs> Sharon from HR will never, ever, ever bother me again. Exactly. Uh, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to make these bottles unique, or unique, depending on how you look at that word. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to design some patterns on it. We're decorating a bottle, aren't we? We are decorating a bottle. Welcome to Crafty Queens, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else in between. You know how last week you had me sticking sparkles on a old bit of carpet <laughs> that you then stuck on a G-string that wasn't from Wish? <laughs> It wasn't from Wish. Didn't, I said it wasn't from Wish. <laughs> well, that was original. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, I can see, I can see the practical applications of yeah. this. You are so, quite right. It is required. Why are you drinking? Have you got a urinary tract infection? No, it's too warm. You've got to stay hydrated in the warm weather. Oh, it's just because you're feeling a bit hot. It's just you've got to stay hydrated in the warm weather. So the plan is we just are doodling on so these bottles. Just doodle right? on the bottles to start with. Okay. Right. I, I've given you a selection of sharpish markers. Okay. Well, so any any particular theme? You can go for whatever theme you want. Okay. I, I, I'm going to go for old school tribal 90s tattoos. Tattoos? Yeah. Like, like the songs? No. Like... I'm gonna get them. Uh, pretty much the same era, but you remember like all the surfer, blade, mo blade movie kind of 
guys just had all of these tribal tattoo type things. Um, okay. And I used to think that was incredibly sexy. You do have a weird taste, though. <laughs> they're very dated now, it has to be said. When you see a guy with them now, you can tell they're of a certain era. But that's my era. Okay. Um, Dean in the gallery, I believe you've got some tribal tattoos, haven't you? Okay, apparently they do, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they are from a certain era. Yep. I dare say it would have probably fancied Dean back in the day when, when he was younger. But now I know him for who he is, which is a <laughs> So you can't hear the noises I can hear. Yeah, I know. Um, Dean's basically very excited that he's in there. <laughs> he's, he's doing this, isn't he? No, he's not. He's really not making that noise. He absolutely is. He, he better be. He really isn't. I, I wouldn't be entertaining the thought. Um, I, th I think you might might be entertaining the thought later. <laughs> yeah, if he comes up smiling at you and rubbing up against your shoulder. <laughs> anyway, so you, let me know when you've got your patterns on. <laughs> well, how elaborate do these need to be? Not too elaborate, because you, you're going to be doing something wonderful on them. Okay. But, and how much coverage of the bottle do we need to do? As much as you want. It's just to make it so it's unique, so nobody else steals your bottle. So they can't go, oh, I thought it was mine. It's like, no, you didn't, Sharon. Mm. Let me see where you're up to. Uh, I think that'll do. That'll do. OK. Yeah. Um, now, the thing about, about Sharpish markers is they're great because they're permanent. Yes. OK. But they do wear off after time, so we need to protect them. Yes. Okay. All we do is protect and raise them. So we're going to make the bottle textural as well. Oh. Ribbed for all of our pleasures. Oh, this is 3D art. Mm. So what you have in front of you is you have a very hot glue gun. Okay. And what you're going to do is with the very hot glue gun is you're going to go over the lines you've just drawn. Okay. Okay, with the hot glue. So we're sealing in the image. Sealing in the image and also put, putting some texture on the outside of your bottle. And are we trying to ma match the image? I would say glue? try and cover the entire image. So do you, are we talking just over no, everything? No, 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 as in do the lines. Do the lines. Do the lines. Okay. That might be very fine. Indeed, it may be very fine. I, I, I wish I knew that before. I would have gone quite so intricate. Whoops. But if I'd have told you what's happening, <laughs> that's less fun. Now, some people at home might be going, hang on a minute, you're gluing onto a hot glue onto a plastic bottle. Oop. Won't that cause holes, you may say? Somebody may say that. And the answer is yes, but the thing is, we're gluing it together. So guess what? The holes will be glued shut. Now, that's a very funny thing. I, in my... Um, Infinite wisdom? No. Formative no, no. years. Formative years is a very good way of saying it. No. I used to be a fire breather. You used to be a fire breather? I used to be a fire breather. I, I, I ran away and joined the circus when I was very young. Um, when you say ran away... Yeah. Kicked yeah. out, ran away, same thing, yeah? No, sort of. Um, anyway... You used to run a firebrand up and down your arms, and sometimes they have bits of wire on them, and they cut out chunks of flesh. And I've got lots of little scars all along the forearms. Okay. But because the firebrand's on fire, it immediately cauterised the wound. Okay. Same point, really. Just more violent. Okay, and we do like the violence. There we go. So yeah, that's a story for you. There we go, there is a story for us. You're right, well done you. <laughs> <laughs> see, I've, I've got people in mind now, you see? Isn't that clever? Little people. Oh, you did little stick figures? No, I did little people. Represented by lines. That, that would be what a stick figure is. Yeah, well, well, one of those ways of saying it will get a grant from the National Lottery. <laughs> okay, I don't think that was very graciously done. Probably not. But it's done. Okay. I've <laughs> managed to get glue all over the sharpish. Oh, no, you haven't, have you? I have. Oh, dear. Okay. Um... Oh, it's really warped the bottle. It does do. It's very hot glue. Oh, wow. Oh. That's really warped it. 
Oh, is that fair? It's, it's not, like, damaged it yet. Mind you, I, I, I'm not too sure whether that'd be safe to actually have water in now. Why? Well, I'm not too sure whether your theory completely holds up with how this bottle is constructed, but well, I, I'm willing. Is, once once you've got, once it's cooled. Once it's cooled. Yeah, once the glue is cooled, you can, you can actually test it. Okay. And I'll, wait, I'll show you how we test it in just a moment. But yeah, while that cools, remember, if you can't get any pee, any machine or anything else in between, you could be a crafty queen. See, I think that was successful. You think? Yeah. Let's have a look at yours. Okay. So the way to test the holes is to take the lid off mm -hmm. and give it a blow. Let's see if you get the air through. Okay. Like a trumpet. Like a trumpet or a kazoo. <laughs> yes, I can't play a kazoo. Oh, no, that is quite airtight. Oh, okay. yeah. Now, I do actually have a hole because you can... So, I need to fix that. So, I'm going to use your glue gun to fix that. Okay. Mine's all the way over there. And you just basically pop a little bit more glue on. That will do it. That will do it, you see. And then you can test it again to make sure it's worked. Bang on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a bit of a blowout. <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think you need to leave that to cool a little bit before you try it again. But we get the theory. That's another way. <sighs> I, 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 Touch it, see if it's locked. I'm not touching anything that you've just blown like that. It's slightly furtive. <laughs> it does look like you're testing out a homemade bong. It's still bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> that person's got an erection now. <laughs> you've just oh, always got Willie on the mind. I, 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 I mean, it works. If given a little bit more time, I would have had a more artistic yeah, go. I, I quite liked mine. Yeah. It's, I, I had a problem where I dropped it and, and smudged the glue when it was still wet. But, you know, that, no one's going to pick up my water bottle at work now. Yeah, because they're afraid it might spill water everywhere. Good. Uh, anyway. Thieving bastards. <laughs> That's almost the end of the show. Now, remember to look out for Chewing the Cud on your social media. And if you want to catch up with previous episodes, you can always binge us on YouTube. Just look for Chewing the Cud. It's got a very large penis. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. You've just got really on the brain. It's glue. Yeah, well, it's better to have it on the brain than not have it at all, Mist. Stop picking at it. It'll fall off. It has. Yeah.